feel like you're a wordsmith. I feel like you are very deliberate in the words that you choose. Have you always been that way or did you have a mentor or a book or somebody, something that influenced you? Yeah, I was born this way. It's just, <laughs> no, when you've been around as long as I have, um, you just pick things up. I was fortunate enough to, to teach for a couple of years at San Francisco State University. And I had a mentor there who I thought was the best orator I've ever heard in my life. He just had a way of, of communicating with authenticity and kindness. And so I picked a lot of his stuff up. In fact, there's sometimes when I speak and I think of myself being Bernie Goldstein, that's who he was. And so I learned a lot from him on how to communicate. Um, but I spent a lot of time studying great communicators. And I think it's important that we all do that because really what we do is we're sharing ideas with other people. And if we can't do that effectively, then they're not going to get the big picture. And if you don't get the big picture, then really what are we trying to accomplish? And so I think that when you study hard, you pick your words appropriately, you're able to communicate them with authenticity and being genuine and being caring, people sense that. And when they sense that, they're more attracted to you than if you're just kind of talking with a sense of talking.